Okay, I'm just going to do another atmospheric um, wash and just see what happens with this one here. Firstly, I'm going to tie, um, tape up the edges with some blue washi tape, which you can buy from any hardware store. And it's fairly low tack. Make sure it does say washi. Okay, and this time I'm going to use a thicker paper. It's 300 GSM. It's got a rough texture to it. Okay, like so. I'm going to try something just with one colour and see how I go. And now I'm going to dry it off into stages and then work in different sections. So looking at complete blending of colour rather than um, having the mushrooms, which I quite like, or the cauliflowers, which I quite like happening. Okay, so once again, I have my um, squirrel mop brush from Germany, which is a really great brush and you can buy them from most art shops, the Hake brush which is great for washes. The, um, this one here, which is a squirrel brush for detailing. I use this one here to detail because it's got a nice fine tip and they are East Art Artist Starter Set and the fan brushes as well. So to start with, I'll just usually don't do this, but clean the brushes to make sure like so. Okay, and then I put them away. Make sure that my rigger brush, I'm precious with the rigger brush. It's got a lovely, long, fine tip. You can do a lot of detail work with it. Okay, so you might pick up. I have some blue here, and in the blue I have put some uh, just ordinary art spectrum blue, it's called. There's thalo blue, and there's also a little bit of Payne's grey in there to create bit of a different blue all right so firstly you just wet your page all the way through it doesn't have to be every area okay and then I might use this leave this brush here to do my washes pick up another brush which is this one here um, and pick up the blue and just liberally put the blue in Quite a lot of blue. Um, okay, even down the bottom, which has started to already dry because it should be bleeding. Okay, now, might lift it and let it do its own thing, let it run. So I'm starting to think that this paper hasn't actually worked because you can see the little stippling that's happening and it um, shouldn't be doing that as an art spectrum paper. There might be an interesting effect that's created. Right. So straight away this is dried up and you can see the brush strokes here. So I might go over it again and see what happens if I just load it up with colour just from the top. Um, yeah. It's soaking the way through. It's giving me a stippling effect, which is really interesting that that's happening. It's drying in different, different uh, ways. I don't want it to pull, so I might just lift some of it up. Okay, that's atmospheric, I can't change that now. It's just the way it's dried. I'm going to dry it with the hairdryer. Okay, so you can see it's stippled. It's created a bit of a texture. Um, that. I don't mind that. I didn't envisage that happening, but it's um, quite interesting. So what I might do is get my plate out and go black with a little bit of maybe Payne's grey. 
Okay. Just put some black and pain spray. I'll put the blue out the way for now. Um, add a little bit of water to it. Perhaps it's the reason why it's maybe too thick. Use your your hake brush again. And maybe add some sort of a bit of a swoop of a, of a of a mountain or a landfall. So I'm just going to drop it in and I'm not sure what's going to happen. Might stipple. So it's not moving, so it's a bit too thick when that happens. Yeah. So it's quite thick. So if that was dry, if I'd waited a little bit longer, um, we wouldn't have had those runs. Okay, so you might want to, for instance, scrape some areas out completely and leave some areas quite dark. Just leave it like so. Maybe get the hairdryer out and um, dry it off again. You see how it's drying quite light. It's not as black as what it was. I'm going to move that. Should probably wait for it to really dry off but I'm just going to play with it and see what happens um, I'm not as I said there's a little bit of um, blackness happening here Oops. you might want to lift it off might not work lots of disasters happen Okay, so that's still wet. Just going to incorporate that little bit in there. Um, and I might even just put a little bit of water in here, just some clean water. So just a little bit of a okay, and just lift up little bit of a dot in there let it do its thing and in here it seems to really blend into the um, soak into the paper very very fast and you might want to put a little bit of darkness pick it up here okay that's a little bit of a cauliflower happening up there but that actually looks quite nice like that I don't, I don't mind that so I'm not going to fiddle too much with it I'm going to go back with the paint um, and just flick some reeds and stuff can do is you can actually make it look as if there's a tree happening
just playing with it. Um, and if you want to lift some colour up, you can just go back in here and lift it. The other thing you could possibly do is use the back of a, and actually scratch some of the colour out. trying to lead that just a little bit into here. Okay. Go back to You might want to use your rigger brush to just put in a little bit, a few tiny little sort of leading lines as branches. Got a little bit of red that I've picked up accidentally obviously on the plate so I might turn that into a bird here That's about it. You can keep playing with it. Um, but I think that looks quite good. I mean, you could also put a little bit of blue in here, so I might. I can never stop myself, I always have to put colour in. Okay, just some of the colour that we used in the sky, just for balance. there's too much just grab it it dries up that's it um, and then with you can use a ceramic tool if you wanted to it's just to add a little bit of a line it's too much of a line just it's still quite wet and that's the sky and that's just another painting something fun to do